this is Tony from TG Base Tutor and today let's talk about the major scale. Um, so this example that I've just played to you shows you the C major scale but all over the neck. Okay so from the lowest possible note that you can play in that scale to the highest possible note in that scale all the way up the fretboard. So this may seem like quite a challenge as well. It isn't. It isn't a challenge if you break it down into manageable chunks. I have another lesson on chunking and how to go about doing that in a more effective way. Uh, link is in the description below. Um, so with the major scale, you probably know the one octave major scale. So if we're starting here on the fifth fret of the A string, uh, sorry, the third fret of the A string, fifth fret, third fret of the A string. <laughs> so fingers for that are two, four, one, two, four, one, three, four. Pretty easy. Okay. What are the note names? Okay. If you know the note names, uh, say them with me. If you don't know the note names, learn the note names. Okay, they'll be on the screen. Here we go. C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, so here we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay, but what do we have below? Below C, we have B. Let's include that into our pattern. So E, F, first finger, G, second finger, A, fourth finger, B, first finger, and C, second finger. Okay. Notice how I paused in between each section. This is what I mean about chunking here. Don't try and feel that you need to do all in one go. Right from the beginning, because that's not going to happen. You're going to make mistakes. It'll sound a bit sloppy, things like that. You might even not know what your fingers are doing, right hand or left hand. And this way you can focus on the note names. Please don't focus on fret numbers for this. Fingers, yes, and finger numbers, yes, but not fret numbers. Why? Because this way you're learning notes rather than purely positions or patterns, okay? So, we have the lower part again. To the C octave. Where do we go from next? We go to D. So where is D? It is two frets up. And you can see that I've switched to my first finger. Again, fingering doesn't really matter that much, but it's whatever is comfortable for you. So I am doing one, three, and four. So that is one, one, two, four, one, three, four. It's entirely up to you, whatever works. Doesn't matter what matters here on note names. Okay. So going on from, from here in the top octave, say the note names with me while you play it. Okay, C, D, E, F, G. If you have more frets, you, you will be able to use more. 
I only have 20. So, yes we can, we can go up to D. So I can use D with my fourth finger, my second finger, my third finger, my first finger. It really doesn't matter. As long as you are playing all of the notes in the scale. Okay, let's put all of that together here, starting on the octave. And back down. Again, doesn't really matter where your fingers end up, as long as you're saying the, the notes of the names. Uh, notes of the names, names of the notes. There we go. <laughs> names of the notes. And then when you're starting to put it together and you know the names of the notes, you can say them without thinking about it. Then we can focus on techniques, combining them all together, putting that all into practice. Why, why, why am we doing this? What is the point in doing this? Okay. The main reason for this is to get you used to different variations of the same scale i.e modes you have accidentally played or maybe intentionally played i don't know accidentally or intentionally played all of the modes at some point throughout that scale if you stop and start that scale and practice that from different points for example if i do from b the same with F that's F Lydia as well but don't think of it like that think about purely note names of the scale and then practice it in different keys as well you can practice it in D you can practice it in E it really doesn't matter what you do. Yes, you will run out of space up here, hence why I chose C, because you've got a bit more space here. If you like this video, give it a like. Um, remember, subscribe for more videos like this. If you want to see more scales exercise, leave a comment below. And until next time, see you.